Point density analysis can be used to show where there's a concentration of data points. In this task, you'll be using a core QGIS plugin called Heatmap, which generates point density surfaces. So here I've got QGIS desktop open with the Texas state boundary and the place names layer loaded. And I'm going to use the Heatmap plugin. So I'm going to enable it first. So I'll go to the plugins menu, open up the plugins manager, and on the installed tab, I'll check Heatmap. Click close. Now I'll go to the raster menu to heat map and open up the heat map tool. The input point layer is my place names. Next I'll name the output raster town density and I'll place it in my lab 8 data folder. I ended this with a .tif extension so I'm going to use an output format of GeoTIFF. I'm going to change the output radius to 800,000 and I'll click OK. So it generated our heat map. I'm going to drag the place names on top. One note about this plugin, in QGIS version 2.8.1 there's a bug in this plugin which causes the output not to be geo-referenced so it doesn't fall in the correct place on the map. The workaround for this right now is to install the nightly build of QGIS, which you can do from the QGIS page. This will be permanently fixed in the next QGIS release, which will be version 2.10. I'm also going to drag the Texas border above this density layer, and I'm going to restyle it. I'm going to click Simple Fill and give this a fill style of no brush, and I'm going to make the outline yellow, which will give good contrast against the black background of the density surface. Now I'm going to run the tool again, but I'll weight the town points by their population. So I'm going to go back to the heat map tool. My input point layer will still be place names. I'll call my output town pop density. And this time I'll check the advanced section and I'll check the use weight from field option and I'll use the population column. I'll click OK. And this creates a heat map based on the population values of each town. So it gives a, a better indication of where the population centers are. In the next task, you'll learn how to convert from raster to vector.